So yesterday, the Packers finally ended their losing streak, beating the Dallas Cowboys 31-28 to in overtime. And we finally got to see Christian Watson come in and have a massive breakout game. He's the first Packers rookie to have three touchdowns since James Lofton in 1978. So when we needed it most, Christian Watson came through. And I just think when we look back at this past offseason, when we look at Devontae Adams um, you know, getting traded away, the hope was that Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs, specifically, as the season went on, would progress, hopefully build that chemistry with Aaron Rodgers and allow this offense to start you know, clicking on all cylinders. We knew it would take some time in the beginning. And before this game, it really seemed like maybe the offense this year would never get clicking. But luckily, yesterday, we saw what this offense can be. And most of this season, we have just haven't been a very explosive offense. When we've been down by, you know, 7, 14 points, it's been really hard for this team to move the ball. We've had so many, you know, little short, quick passes, short runs, and we haven't really had those big explosive passing plays. And yesterday, that all changed with Christian Watson. First off, play action, 58-yard touchdown. And then fourth quarter, fourth and seven, down 28-14, to 14, a 39-yard touchdown by Christian Watson. And then third, his third touchdown, down 28-21, to 21, a play action, nine-yard touchdown catch. And so now with the Packers sitting at four and six, we clearly have a long way to go to be able to be back in the playoff conversation. But to get a win like we did yesterday, to see Christian Watson what he did. We knew he was a talented player. We knew he has the athletic ability. He was one of the most athletic draft prospects of all time. When you look at relative athletic score, he was one of the top all time since like the 1980s. So we knew he had the ability. The question was, would it ever get clicking this season? And even though he started off the game two drops, he comes in, has a massive day, four receptions, 107 yards, and three touchdowns. So now looking forward with the way this offense played, with the ability to you know push the ball down the field, Christian Watson coming in clutch in this game, it gives us hope for this offense moving forward because so far this season, as I said, we haven't seen this ability to, um, when we needed to like move the ball quickly down the field in a hurry to you know catch back up, we haven't had that ability this season and things really seem to be very different yesterday and it's not like the Cowboys are not a talented team, they're a very talented team and so to be able to beat them like we did, to come back like we did, um, it gives me lots of hope going forward and yes, we're four and six. We face the, the Titans on Thursday, the Eagles next week. There's a lot of games the Packers need to you know, win to be able to make the playoffs. But if we can do what we did yesterday, if Christian Watson can continue on this hot streak and just give the Packers this explosive ability, um, I think things bode a lot better for the Packers going forward in the future. And I want to read a quote from Christian Watson from after the game. This is from a Albert Breer article of Sports Illustrated. He was asked what Rodgers said after the game, and he said, Christian Watson said, Shoot, he told everybody just how proud he is of all of us, Watson said over the phone from the bowels of Lambeau Field after Green Bay's 31-28 win over the Cowboys in overtime, and that just going forward, we're going to look like a, a different football team. I think that we've put in the work, we decided to go out there and show it, and I think that today was only the beginning for us. And so now with the Packers, where where they currently are situated, we I mean, the fact that we had so many injuries this past week, it really felt like the Packers were sort of done for Five straight losses, sitting at three and six, losing some of our best players. Rashawn Gary out for the season. Eric Stokes out for a while. Devondre Campbell misses past game. Romeo Dobbs out. Randall Cobb out. It really felt like it's like, man, everything has gone wrong for the Packers. And yesterday may have changed everything potentially if we can continue this going forward. Um, and so now when we look at Aaron Rodgers, what he did yesterday after a, a bad, a, probably one of his worst games in a long time against the Lions to come in yesterday and play almost near perfect. I think he had like 146 passer rating. Packers put up 30 points um, for the first time in a very long while. Um, there's lots There's lots to, to be hopeful for going forward in the future. And I think to see Christian Watson do what he did, one of the first Packers rookies to score three touchdowns since 1978. He's only a rookie. If he can keep this up, if he can keep his, I mean, I would assume now Christian Watson's confidence is through the roof, which definitely, you know, helps a player when he starts off slow to finally have these first touchdowns, to finally have a very productive game, you know going into Thursday he's going to be fired up and ready to come in and um, you know put up some more points, do some more crazy, some more crazy things for this Packers offense. And as well, Aaron Rodgers now has even more of a trust in Christian Watson because even though he dropped the first two passes, Aaron Rodgers decided to keep going to him, and luckily he did because it really changed the game for the Packers. And so now, now where the Packers are sitting overall, um, I think from the defense. It wasn't a perfect game. We still allowed 28 points, but to see two interceptions by Rudy Ford um, really helped this Packers team down 7-0, 
Aaron Rodgers fumbles it. The Cowboys are almost in scoring range. Rudy Ford comes in and interception, intercepts that ball. If he didn't intercept that ball, I don't know. The game probably would have gone differently. There are also a few other instances. Amari Rodgers fumble, um, you know, pump fumble. Could have changed things there, but luckily the Packers were able to fight back from that. And to see how he won in the way we won at Lambeau Field in overtime, we, we have a lot to hope for going forward. So things hopefully are going to be a lot different going forward. Um, it's nice to, you know, get back on the... Get, get back and get a win after a long while of losing because it gets tiring losing after so long and this may just be the spark the Packers needed to hopefully go on a run go on a winning streak it's definitely possible um and we'll see what happens and I hope that Christian Watson can keep up this dominant performance that we saw from him yesterday but uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time